Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily use Typeform. Typeform is a great tool and I believe that after finishing this video you will know exactly how to use it. So the first thing you want to do is just click here get started, it's free. I will zoom in a little bit so you see literally everything. Now I'll just add my email address, I will add my password, agree and agree, create a free account. like this and now just wait until it loads and okay now what I will do I will go to my gmail account do it also and then here we got it activate my account so just wait for your activation email and voila here we go so in total only takes a moment and will make your time with time for even better get set up so what is your first name marcus okay and your last name stone okay hello marcus what's the main thing you'll be using type for i'm going to use it for work you choose which one you want what industry are you in i'm in e-commerce and consumer goods choose your then what size is your organization i'm two ten people which one of these best describes your role and i will go with a founder ceo you choose which are you now what's the one main activity you want to do with time form i want to get a feedback let's say or general general generate leads okay how did you first discover time form let's say i will click youtube and here we go let's do this now when you're going to enter uh, you have option to start from the scratch and create your own time form or what you can do is to simply choose template template gallery so i can go on registration and find some really pretty registration or quiz, giveaway, request, order, lead capture. So you can really choose which one you want. I'm just like scrolling down to see plenty of options. So I can click here. Let's go with the market research survey template. I will click on it. And now, so here we got it. Questions 18 time turns once for a minute. Use this template. And here we go. Give it a name. I'll just leave it like this. Or I can research what are you creating. And let's say that I'm going to create a request form or your contact form. Continue. You choose which one you're creating right here. Then take a moment to get comfortable. Show me the highlights. And now, when we are in, we can see these blue dots here. It's going to give you options what you can do. So first, this is the welcome screen. On the left side, you would see design, logic. We will get to it. This is like the way how it works. Then we have endings. Create different endings for quizzes, segmentation. On the top right, we see layout. I can simply switch it and change it as much as you want, right? And then you're going to see the preview here and publish on the top right. So uh, when you have create, next to that you got connect. And then you would have share and results. So you can uh, connect it to Google Sheets and then have like results there or with Zapier or you can share it. And then you would have results. So on the top, top menu, uh, you would see the next steps. Here, you would see content. And then we have the content here. So we can simply click here, add a new question. And you have option. Like, okay, I want to see, have multiple choice, phone number, short text, long text, statement, P 
Pixel choice, ranking, yes and no, email, opinion scale, rating, metrics, date, drop down menu, legal, file, upload, payment, website, question group. So what you can do is let's say that I'm going to click mm -hmm, phone number. And what you can do is to simply, I'm going to make it right here. And this is going to my question. What is your phone number? And as you can see, it updated. And what I could do is to simply switch it to different question type or just change the layout. So if you're going to change the layout, it changed only on one screen. So this is how it works. Let's say oh, you can simply click design and you can add a new theme here and change the colors if you want to. So you click here on the add a new theme and change the colors. So this is going to be black. Oh, sorry. Oh. I just added a photo here behind it, I think. No, 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 no. Save. Give me a second. Yep. So you can do and add a background image right here. You're going to see the answers here and buttons and everything. And then you can change the, the font here if you want to. Button would be black too, and everything would be black. Button text, white. Background image, you can change it if you want to. Just click uh, under the background image on the image and uh, then change that. Now, when I go back, yes, save. This is my theme that I have, and you can use it then for multiple forms that you would have or questions right here. Now then on an editor, you can simply add again ranking, let's say. What is your ranking? And I can simply add multiple choices. And then people would just like number one, two, three, four. And people would just like switch between these, right? So it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Then what you can do is to simply preview it. Let's go. Nice. And then I will just simply switch between everything. So this is pretty much it, how it works. Now, when we go in further, what you can do is when you got it is go to connect. And you can have integrations. You can simply share it. You can copy the link. Or you can embed it in a web page as a full page, pop up, pop over, site tab, slider. Or you can start a chat or launch it in an email. And then you would see results here. So you would see the results if someone opened it. When I go to the time form. Okay. Okay, wait a second. I will just share it. You need to upgrade the plan to edit the review, but this is pretty much it how we do it. Now, what you can do next is let's say to the create, I forgot to show you something is what you can do is to simply delete this. I'll just reload it to delete this thing here. And now publish. And now it's published. Let's go and voila, you see how pretty it works. And it's perfect. So this is how we do it. Now what you can do is when I go back to your workspace, in your workspace, you would find your own research and you can simply click here and type a new form and you can just create a new one. So this is pretty much it how Timeful works. Thank you very much guys for watching. If you can have any questions, ask me down in the comments and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.